Good morning. Yeah, welcome to another edition of Import Expo Platform Facebook Live from 3 Team Pastry Academy. Thank you very much for joining me this morning. And if you are watching this after the broadcast is over, thank you very much of the same. We'll continue our discussion on starting and managing export business. We started this series yesterday, and today we are looking at part three, and part four will happen in the evening. And basically what I've been looking at is um, looking at soft issues. I call them soft issues because if you look at them in the real sense of the world, they might not be the real issue. There are many important things to look at whenever you are thinking of exporting items out of Nigeria. But I tell you that this, if neglected, might become, might spell doom for, for your transaction at the end of the day. If neglected, if neglected, might spell doom for the transaction at the end of the day. Why am I saying this? Because today, many businesses have not been able to thrive in this space simply because of what people are looking at or looking for. You know, you need to define exactly what you want as far as business, especially business is concerned. You need to define exactly what you want. I need to understand the fact that the whole lesson of doing business is not just about making money, it's also about creating value. In fact, in my opinion, it is first and foremost about creating value before making money. Because if the value creation comes first, it becomes easier for you to be able to make all the money you want to make in that particular business. So today I will be talking about the need to build credibility, companion, character, and competence before cash in export business. You know, when people start business, the idea is just, you know, to make money. And there's nothing wrong with that. Only that, if that's the only objective, it creates a challenge, creates a problem. It creates a challenge in the sense that at the end of the day, if that is not being realized, it will look as if, oh, there's no point doing this thing in the first place because I'm not realizing my objective. And I'm saying, in as much as that is very important, that should not be the sole objective of the business you are trying to do. And that if that is the sole objective of the business, then the business will not be sustainable. If that is the sole objective of the business, the business will not be sustainable. Why? Because doing business should be much more than just making money. It should be about creating value if you are going to be able to, at the end of the day, get the best from that business. I'll be focused this money on what I call the intangible money. The intangible money. The intangible money. What are the intangible money? The intangible money, money in business are credibility, character, competence, companion. And the tangible money is cash. But you know what I discovered? The more the intangible money you possess, the more the tangible money you attract. In life, generally, in business, in anything you do, the more the intangible money you possess, the more the tangible money you attract. So if the focus of the is the business, is only about tangible money, there will be a challenge. If the focus of the in the business is only about tangible money, there will be a challenge. Why is there a challenge? Because the focus is solely on tangible money. Now, what was the challenge of focusing on tangible money? The challenge of focusing on tangible money is that you will sideline what is important to keep that business going. That's the challenge of tangible money. For example, in export, one thing clear in export is credibility. You know, credibility, credibility is, by the way, is consistency of results. Showing results to a buyer that you can deal and you're showing that to a buyer who is desperately in need of the product you are, you are, uh, you are, you are, talk, you are selling, you know what we are telling him? He will give everything you need to support you. In fact, you might not need to go and look for cash. He will raise the cash. Why will he do that? Because he's in need of that money, of that product, and you have shown credibility. What's credibility? Consistency of results. That consistently over time, you've been able to deliver on this product to other people. Just showing him the evidence that this are the other people and this can be verified. You are telling him how serious you are and how important it is for him to deal with you. 
Credibility is so important. Result, showing evidence of your result is so important. And credibility is money. Credibility is money. In anything you want to do, especially when you are dealing with someone and the person you are dealing with is having issues. When you are dealing with someone and the person you are dealing with is having issues, is having issues with you. Is having issues with you. And <laughs> is, that, is that an issue with your credibility, with the capacity to perform? You don't need to worry about his concern. No, his concern should not be your worry. Your own worry is to show him that his fear is unfounded. Your own worry is to show him that his fear is unfounded and that you will demonstrate to him that you can deliver. Don't try to convince him by talking. Show evidence. Verifiable evidence. Show evidence. Cast, I mean, uh, hard cast evidence. As long as you are showing evidence consistently that he can verify over time. Over time, he will believe you. And whatever I'm telling you, be rest assured that our things are practiced, our things are done. And this is very important. This is extremely, extremely important. That there is outcast evidence to show that this is indeed what you have done or what you can do. When many are trying to get buyers in export business, they are not doing it the right way. They are not trying to show to the buyer the value they can create. The father, look, I can do this thing. But they are trying to just get the transaction. The person is willing to give you that transaction, but it's not sure you will perform. Credibility, my friend, is money. The next one is companion, relationship. 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 As you start any business, export business in particular, see how you can build relationship. Look at the pain of building relationship. When we started exporting part to the UK, we found out the Competitor over there responded after our first shipment to change their price. They actually dropped their price. But we were trying to build relations with our distributor in the UK. You know what happened? The next shipment was not so profitable. I think it was almost at a loss, not a loss, but we did it all the same. Why are we doing it? Credibility. <laughs> Why are we doing it? Credibility. Why are we doing it? Credibility. 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 Sorry. Uh, <laughs> relationship. Sorry. Companion. Relationship. Companion. 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 We were trying to build relationship with this partner. And that was, for me, at that point, more important than profit. You know why? If you build a relationship, we'll build, bring other products on board, other things on board that will help us be able to make that money we want to make through that, through that, with that customer. But you know what? Eventually, we did it. Eventually, we did it. And it's been almost three years, over two years. And the relationship has continued. The relationship has not stopped. Why? We show and prove to the client that we can do it. We have what it takes to do it. We have everything it needs to do it. And that even in the time of adversity, in the time of challenges, when the business seems not to be very profitable, we will go ahead. We were trying to build something. Relationship. 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 That look, you can trust us. We are a trustworthy partner. We are a serious-minded partner. We are a partner that, even in times of adversity, in times of challenges, we are willing to deal, even when it's not convenient for us. And the partner saw that, and we've been together ever since. What am I trying to say? That in starting a managing export business, you need to build credibility with the buyer. You need to build uh, 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 um, 
relationship with the buyer. You need to build credibility with your local supplier and partner. You need to build a relationship with your local supplier and partner. You can have a good buyer abroad and have a bad supplier locally. A bad supplier locally will destroy your relationship with your buyer abroad. A bad supplier locally will, deal, will destroy your relationship with the buyer abroad. So do everything within your capacity, everything within your capacity to maintain a very good relationship with your local supplier. Whoever it is you are dealing with locally is extremely important for the success of the business. Whoever it is you are dealing with locally is a, so as a big relationship. Don't just focus on building relationship. Don't just focus on building relationship with someone who we buy, which is mainly the focus. In fact, where many people want to go into export, they always, always, almost, always forget there's a local supplier they need to manage. There's a local supplier they need to respect. The local supplier they need to build relationship with. The local supplier they need to work with. They only, almost always, almost always focus on who will be buying from them. Almost always, almost always focus on who will be buying from them. And you know what that does? It makes them to jettison the relationship with the local supplier. Make them sometimes to not to respect that relationship. And you know what that does for them? It destroys the future of their business. Companion, character. So the companion credibility. The next one is um, competence. Competence. It's one thing for you to be able to manage relationship. It's one thing for you to show evidence you have done it before. You can be trusted. It is another thing for you. <laughs> it is another thing for you to be able to deliver the right quality. It is another thing for you to be able to deliver the right quality. It is another thing for you entirely to be able to deliver the right quality. So the question for me to you today is, will you be able to deliver the right quality? 